So we're here with? Just uh, from Sunflower Cabana. Okay, so we're here with? Moni Pop. You already know. Okay, so we're here with? My name is Rank Jensen, RJ Swift. Okay, so we're here with? Tiara. Jessa, um, this is your event, right? Yes, okay, yes. so so since this is your event, how, how did you get started, like, you know, in fashion, in, you know, planning everything? Okay, let me tell my age. I got started 20 years ago. What? Um, I actually am, this is for my 33rd birthday this year. Well, happy birthday. Thank you. And so I started modeling in middle school, um, and uh, I've been in fashion ever since, in and out, but this is my first year as a designer. I did samples and I was wearing my samples for like a year and I just happened to throw the samples in a fashion show and everyone received it well and I said I guess I'm a designer now so this is technically my third show uh being a designer and here I am yeah all right so we're here with Brienne. Brienne. okay so Brienne, how long have you been modeling not that long I started in November and it just picked up afterwards when I really love this so I've been continuously doing it well what's good and what's bad about modeling pros the confidence it gives you a lot of things that i couldn't do before i can do now mm -hmm. the exposure the people that you meet kind can also be the people that you meet because yeah. <laughs> we're not so great and uh, some of the environments um like what you have to go through to get to the good ones uh -huh. can sometimes be effy but i feel like it is more pros okay so we're here with tiara okay so tiara mm, tiara i'm sorry uh, uh <laughs> what, what what got you started in modern uh, my high school had some type of fashion show going on, so I did that, and then I decided, you know what, I'm going to keep going with this. I did take a break because I went to college, graduated. Okay. What did what, you graduate with? I am, I got a few degrees, honestly. I got licenses, certificates, degrees. I'm a clinical massage therapist, okay. and I got a business degree, and I decided to get back into it. I just really love wearing people's clothes, and I feel really confident, because I got stage fright. I'm a singer, too, but that's something else. Do you have, like, a goal for an event? Like, do you want 30, 40,000 people? Like, what, what is, like, a, do you have any, like, huge goals for it or anything like that? I want this to be a festival, like, Passion in Paradise, a festival, like a summer fest, summertime, shy, kick it. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would really, really love to work That's awesome. Yes. That's awesome. Okay, so we here with? Moni Pop. You already know. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so what? Well, uh, you you're here for modeling, right? Yeah, but y'all know I'm a rapper first. Okay. So performance is definitely gonna be done. What are you willing to accept with the role of being an artist? That it comes with a lot. You gotta have tough skin. I'm a soft girl, so it's kind of. A it's a little hard, but yeah. gotta toughen up a little bit. Yeah. If I want to make it far. No, for sure. Okay, so we here with? My name is Rank Jensen, RJ Sway. I go by a lot of names and I do a lot of things. There we go, there we go. Now, now tell, tell us a couple things you do do. Um, well, today I'm a, I'm a model for the Sunflower Cabana and for the uh, Paradise Fashion Show. Um, I also, I make music, I act. I, I just like to be a well-rounded creative, so that's just my MO. Okay, that's, that's what I'm talking about. We, we got an entrepreneur right here. So yeah. look, so entrepreneur, where do you see yourself within five years with all the stuff you have going on, man? Man, within five years, I just want to have my own brand. Um, I want to I wanna be traveling, doing shows, uh, and just want to stay. make sure I'm staying creative, staying youthful, and, and, and giving back to the creative community. So. Where do you see yourself in five years with my own? I see myself in magazines, I see myself yeah. in the top shows, like I feel like I just started and I've already done shit that a lot of people, ooh, can I hear? <laughs> I've done stuff that a lot of people haven't as fast as I have, so I feel okay. like in five years I'm gonna take off. So y'all, we're here with? Derek Alliance Studio. Derek Alliance Studio. So, you're the creator of a lot of the clothes here. I love this right here, but all of that stuff there. This, and she's been doing this for how long? Um, I've been crocheting since, since I was eight. I've been sewing since 2014. What are some like pros and cons to doing it? Um, cons, 
I think people are thinking that this is fast, fast fashion and it's not. You know, a lot of the designers take their time to curate the, the pieces. Everybody's so used to Amazon getting things in two days, the quality not being the best. So they think that we are the same caliber and we're not. Right. You know, we take we take our time, we put our, our work and our blood, sweat and tears into things. And that's why the price is the price, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why it's called couture and not fast fashion. So I think that's a little, issue that they be having sometimes no, just cool. not respecting the fact that you know this takes time what's your ups and downs to it um it's always a fear factor that you're not going to get supported um sometimes you get discouraged because the people you think should support you should uh, aren't um but at the end of the day like your people are out there i call them my purple ducks the people that um you know like that. love that like love you love everything support you wholeheartedly they're out there and they're going to support everything you do what are some things that, that come up that that might be hard like when when you are making clothes for somebody or something um i think i don't like the pressure of time mm -hmm. which is i don't do custom anymore i'm kind of like more couture yeah. one piece whatever i make whatever comes to my mind is what you see is what you get yeah. you can you know indulge in my fantasy my line is my fantasy mm -hmm. um that's my struggle my struggle is taking orders and having it out in their time. I like to work when I am inspired yeah. and not sewing because I have to. I want to sew because I enjoy it. I have a design in my mind and I want it to come to fruition. Right. Yeah. That's, and that's awesome. And then even then, like you, you have your own unique pieces that everybody's wearing and they're bringing it to fruition for you. You know what I'm saying? I tell and then, people all the time, you make it, they'll buy it. You don't know what people like until you make it. That's true. Yeah. So, where do you see yourself within five years from from whatever, like even, even art, modeling, like everything going together? Like, what do you see yourself it take you in five years? Right. So, fun fact, it's actually my first paid performance. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. First paid modeling gig. So, ten years from now, it's only go five years from now. However long, next year, it's going up. You yeah. hear me? More money. More problems, but yeah, more money for sure. What are like some pros and cons for you? Okay, so pros, I think it helps build confidence. Like uh, one of the girls, it was her first show and she kind of cried because she said she has anxiety. So I think it really helps with confidence, building confidence and self-awareness. One of the cons is you have to deal with people. So if you're not good with people, it's probably not the best idea for you. Different personalities, you could argue with someone. So other than that, I think it's more pros and cons though. You get free clothes, there we go. free clothes. You get to wear stuff like this. All right, so Antonio, how long have you been modeling? Uh, I've been modeling since about like 2002. 2010, 2010. So what got you, what got you into modeling? Uh, honestly, it just kind of happened. Uh, I was doing an event that I was supposed to be doing music for, and mm -hmm. one of the designers just pulled me, and uh, she kind of had me on the spot. So. What are you willing to go through, you know what I'm saying, just to make it to the top for doing it, like while doing it? What am I willing to go through? Mm -hmm. Like, um, hard work, that's all about, that's it. Yeah. Hard, just working hard. I'm willing to work hard to get where it is that I need to be. Do you have a social media or anything you want them to follow um, you on? My social media is D Lion Studio. That's D L Y O N S S T U D I O. So, where do you see yourself within five years from from whatever, like even even art, modeling, like everything going together? Like, what do you see yourself? It take you in five years. Right. So, fun fact: it's actually my first paid performance. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. First paid modeling gig. So, ten years from now, it's only go five years from now. However long next year, it's going up. You hear me? More money. More problems, but yeah, more money for sure. What, what do you see yourself in, I'm saying, five years with modeling or, you know, just in the future? Honestly, um, I, I kind of just want to, like, produce models. I kind of want to, like, put models on like they put me on and things like that. Um, like I said, I came in this game with no experience and, you know, I've walked in, like, New York Fashion Week and things like that. So, I mean, like, it's all about you just being persistent and just sticking with it, honestly. Give, give them your ass so they can follow you, though. If y'all don't know, y'all sleep. But it's Moni Pop Official. That's M O N Y P O P Official on Instagram. Moni Pop on YouTube. Been doing it for like ten years. What are like some pet peeves or something that you ran into that you like, you don't like? You know what I'm saying? Then something that you kind of do like, like about modeling, like benefits, okay. pros and cons. I, I do like the, uh, the freedom of expression. Um, okay. Being able to kind of like, you know, have that freedom to just kind of like be yourself create creatively. Um, mm -hmm. Especially the time that we in there, it's like a lot of different models, different sizes. So, you know, now um, I do like the way the modeling gives everybody the freedom to kind of open up in their own skin and stuff like that. I think the most thing that I really kind of hate, um, the spot, you know, just kind of like, it could be kind of fast paced. You know, mm -hmm. sometimes uh, you might get booked for a show that's tomorrow. And, you know, right. you just got to be ready to do it. Sometimes it could be consuming that way. Um, 
But yeah, other than that, I love modeling. I've grown to love it. It really wasn't my passion at first, but you know, I come from a family of models, so it happened. Destin. You see yourself going within five years? Within five years, I want to move away from like massage therapy. The stuff I went to school for, I'm trying to move away from. Okay. I want to get more into TV and acting, more modeling. Okay. I just want a more free flowing life. Oh, ah, okay, okay. So, so it could be more, more open. Like just, just do it, do whatever. Okay. Oh, and then. Okay, of, of course, of, of course, I have some business for, for passing income, right? Yeah. What are you willing to accept with the role of modeling, or the role of even being an actor or whatever? Like, what are you willing to accept with that? Money. Money. And she says, she says, she says, she's more through. That's all. That's all. Okay. Yeah, I just enjoy. I feel like it's more. It's better than a regular job. I don't have to sit in the office or work in a building. It's like my job. They're like, you know what? We need you in LA, and they pay for me to fly out there, and they pay for me and board. They're paying for me to travel. So, so it's really experiences. You get to meet like great people and network. That's always awesome. That's what I'm talking about. And then let, give, give them your at so they can follow you. At underscore I B E T I A R A. So so what are you willing to accept with the role of being a mom? I'm not willing to accept the stereotype that I'm definitely being put in. I feel like people have a very one track mind mm -hmm. when it comes to what being a model is. They don't fully understand what all goes into or the different types of model that you can be. Yeah. So I feel like I came in knowing I was going to be put in the category and I'm perfectly fine with that because they don't know nothing anyways. Yeah. So, you know, they're not going to find my check at the end of the day. So I'm going to keep going with those stereotypes and be able to accept that. Do you have any like pros and cons like to, to, to your music or even to like, you know, being, being a a uh, model or whatever man uh it, it, it's a lot of things i mean like the con the pros is obviously we do it just to, it's for self-expression and because it's in, we enjoy doing it we would do it for free but some of the cons could be like you know it's, it, it's a challenge working with, with with some people sometimes you know you got to know who and what is going to be beneficial to you same thing with the modeling um like Je jess the owner of sunflower cabana she's a good friend of mine um we worked before in the past and she, we've had good mutual and beneficial energy so um i, I i'm about to get out